Mentally healthy helps you at school especially, like feeling good in class and so that makes, that helps you to listen and get your work done. Being mentally healthy means being, having a happy mind and being confident in yourself and believing that you can do it. And childhood is a time of great change and, and development for children and the primary school years particularly are, are times when we, we see lots of changes that happen. So part of children's development will mean that there are, there are fluctuations in their mental health. So the way that they're learning how to, how to cope with life, things that, that happen, this will mean that sometimes there will be some, some times that their mental health changes and we see some behaviours and emotions that we might be concerned about. One of the things that Kids Matter Component 4 focuses on is helping to create a space for you to have some of those conversations, to make sense of what might be normal behaviour that, that we would expect for a child of a particular age or in a particular situation and what might be one of the concerns that we need to, need to act on and, and what's the process for that. Mental health can range from good through to poor. While we all have ups and downs in our mental health, at any point in time, most children are experiencing good mental health, cope well when faced with challenges and enjoy life. However, there are a number who experience difficulties with their mental health. For some, this may only be a temporary reaction to a difficult situation they're in, but for others, they may be experiencing a more concerning mental health disorder. The dividing line between what's considered okay and what's concerning is often blurry. Regardless of the extent of their difficulties, we know that the earlier children receive support from families and schools and extra help when needed, the better. But what exactly is a mental health difficulty in childhood? Let's take a closer look at the experience of these students. Mental health problems are disruptions of social and emotional well-being and they are difficulties in cognitive processes, in emotional processes, they impact on learning, they impact on social relationships. Showing signs of anxiety or depression or nervousness if they if they're uh, being, uh, if they're withdrawing themselves from discussions or from the class in general, um, we, we look out for students who normally wouldn't act in that in that fashion. If they're um, showing um, high stress or anxiety levels, uh, we look for um, whether or not they're um, being a little bit um, confrontational with other students. Working out whether something does classify as a difficulty is really, I think a matter of seeing how it's interfering with a child's life and all aspects of their life, their relationships, their learning and so on. So if a problem is at such an extent that it is interfering with those things, then I would say I would classify this as a problem or, or mental health difficulty. In thinking about what the major contributors are to children having difficulties, we really have to accept that the world is a complex place. So there are aspects of the child's own characteristics, things like their own temperament, and of course their own abilities and predispositions of other sorts and genetics that comes in there as well. And that is important, but none of that is stuck in stone. So all of that is working in interaction with what's going on in their family life and that is critical, particularly in the very early years, um, but, th but throughout life. Um, what's happening with their peer group becomes increasingly important as time goes on and what's happening in the school environment, whether that's being a rewarding thing. Schools are very complex places and there are many challenges that they're facing on a day-to-day -day basis. Probably top of the list of that challenges would be some behaviour issues of, of students. One of the ways that, that can be really helpful is to understand that mental health is a major contributor to the behaviour of, of people and, and of children. If we understand the importance of, of mental health and, and its relationship to behaviours, we're really well placed to, to work on the children's mental health and in that way keep them engaged with their learning and help them to participate really fully in the life of the school.